Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now we have good news. Houdini 9.5 is almost ready. And right now you can download a free version and uh, in the side effects software webpage. And we have a lot of new cool features inside this new application, this upgrade. And um, what I want to show you in this particular movie is how we can import Adobe uh, Illustrator files inside Houdini and right away. And this is amazing. Now, what, I'm going to, what I want to do is select my text tool and I'm going to type something here. Cardan FX. And I want to show you with text because uh, working with text can be a little bit tricky when we are working inside uh, Houdini. And um, that's what I want to show you here. Well, we have our text here. And now one thing is that we need to export our Illustrator files in an older version. Right now I am using the CS3 version of Illustrator, but we need to save it in an older version. So I'm going to select Save As in File, in my main menu. I'm going to select Save As. And I have um, two different files here. I have um, one called test and another one called test find. I'm going to select the test right now and click save. And I'm going to say replace it. Yes, save again. Now we have our Illustrator options. Here I'm going to select Illustrator 3, click OK. Then I have this warning after, effect, uh, after effects. Uh, Illustrator is going to ask me, if I want, why I want to, to save this uh, version with an older version if I'm using CS3. So don't worry, just press yes. And uh, now we have to jump into Houdini, all right? Now, if I go to file and select my option for import, you can see that we don't have an option for Illustrator files. So don't worry, just press geometry. And after that, we have uh, our Choose Geometry window and we can select the geometry that we want to import. In this case, I'm going to select this one called Test that we just created. I'm going to click here and Accept. And now I, I need to press where I want to place my object. I'm going to press Enter. And there we go. I'm going to press Spacebar H in order to focus on my grid. And we have our geometry node in here in my scene level. Double click on it and space H in order to, to see what I have in here. Where is my node? Okay, go back here. File object. I don't see my my geometry. And that is because probably we, we are having problems with uh, loading our geometry. Let me do it again. I'm going to delete this. Go again. File. Import. Geometry. Test. Accept. Press enter. There we go, we have our file object. Double click. Here we have our file node. And uh, probably I wasn't uh, looking, uh, <laughs> it was uh, hiding. And now we have our file node here. And as you can see, we are uh, viewing this file. We have our flag for visible right now, it's selected. But we don't have a text here. And even if I pr uh, place my cursor here in my viewport and press space G, you can see I, I am viewing the center of my grid and that is because my file is there but we have no information. And that's what I was talking about. Uh, it could be a little bit tricky. So what I have to do is go back to Illustrator and now we need to export only the, the information that we need. But uh, for example, I don't need the color of this uh, text so I can remove the color if I want to, all right? Because we don't need that data inside the Houdini. We are not going to see the color. So we can remove the color if we want to here. Other thing is that right now we are using a font command, all right? Right here, as you can see, we have this Arial font and we have the regular, all these options for text. And Houdini is not uh, ready for reading all this information, all this data. So what we need to do is select our text and right click and select create outlines. After that, uh, what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to uh, break the relation between these uh, vectors and the font command. So right now I cannot edit this text anymore. It's like, um, like, like a draw, all right? We have our paths and that's it. So I'm going to go, go, go back here to file select save as then i'm going to select uh, test again save and replace it yes save yes select another option illustrator 3 click ok yes again and now let's open houdini 
and now I'm going to choose this option geometry file and I'm going to click here in order to reselect the same option or obviously I can press uh, reload geometry if I want to this is the same kind of uh, action now I'm going to place my cursor here in my viewport and I'm going to press spacebar G and there we go now you can see we have our text perfectly fine all right inside Houdini and sometimes we can have a little uh, bit of uh, noise in the holes of our text, uh, but don't worry, we can fix that with our extrude uh, node. And that's it, that's how we can import text. I'm going to press here tab, I'm going to call it an extrude node, place it in here, connect this to there, there we go. Actually, the other thing that I can do is change my uh, view for smooth wire shaded, so we can see the, the edges and everything here in my text. And we can in initialize the extrusion, and there we go. We have a fine, uh, cool text inside Houdini uh, from Illustrator. And that's uh, a cool thing, like I told you. We have a lot of different new tools inside Houdini 9.5. And um, I see you in the next movie. I think that's it. Uh, my name is Carlos Lara, and uh, this is CardanFX.net. See you later.